the pressure I feel is to constantly push out music that is aligned with what I, with what I want. And sometimes, and now working with the label, you have a bunch of different ideas Mm. and, and, and opinions. So I think that has been a little bit difficult being from, you know, I'm an independent, I was very independent and now I'm like have a team and it's like, then sometimes a team we don't agree. And that has been quite a, it's been challenging, but, um, how does that work? Is, is there the buck stop with stops with you where you're like, no, this is happening, whether you like it or not. Or is it like not that situation where like, if they don't like something, you like it, you're a stalemate. Yeah. Kind of. I'm, I, it, yeah. It, or it's a constant, like, so if I, if I like something, they don't like it, then I, Typically, it's just something that I have to can for a second. And then sometimes I'll bring it back up again, like a few months later, mm. because I was like, you know, I always give if, I always give a reason why I'm bringing it up. Yeah. And and I would try to relate it to business. Yeah. And I would try to relate it to something they can understand as to why, like, mm. it would work in the space yeah. and what, what, what they're trying to push. You know what I mean? And I think also, too, they had to stop looking at me as a feature artist, even yeah. though they signed me as an, just an artist, because yeah. like, I, I think it's just too easy. Cause that's just like what has been happening. And so I think that they didn't understand that I had a very clear idea about what I wanted to do, yeah. like super clear, you know? Mm. And, and I think like, they're just like, Oh, I guess you can, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. I'm assuming I'm assuming right now. I have no idea, but I just made it clear that I'm very much here to do my artist project in, you know, the way that I envision it. Totally. And it's, it's working out. I think it's working out. And I think we are finding a like nice, like collaborative effort rather than, you know, it's just this weird disjointed Back thing. Back and forth. Yeah. 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 I guess there's teething problems always. Right. And I think it's also taking egos out and, it's a tough one with a and R's. I've never re- really come because I've I've never worked in the major. Um, I have to a certain extent, but not really for for Will Clark as a project as of yet. Mm-hmm. And it it is the one thing that scares me. And but for me, it's also like it excites me at the same time because I'm like these people could come up with amazing ideas. However, mm-hmm. I've heard so many horror stories of. Yeah. of artists that are just like like you said just music gets canned and i think mm-hmm. music gets canned all the time by us anyway so it's like <laughs> so it's like fine we can can our own music but i think there comes a point where it's like you know what <laughs> this record could be a hit and you could be wrong yeah yes like yes th- there's a there's a there's a difference between for me and my, and i'd like to get your take on it there's a difference between the artist can in the record because they don't feel comfortable about releasing it because it doesn't necessarily suit who they are or mm-hmm. it, it doesn't look right for them or sounds different to what they want to be playing for the next 10 years if it is a hit. And yeah. there's a difference, but there's the other side of it where an A&R cans it because they just don't like it. And I think mm-hmm. there comes a point where I think artists really need to fight for it because if they love a piece of rec- music... Like, it's not like we need to, it's not like nowadays where it costs extra money to release music. It's fucking Mm -hmm. free to release music unless there's a marketing budget or anything like that behind it. But like in the grand scheme Mm -hmm. of things, these majors make so much money that us dance music people that are signed to majors make fuck all anyway for them. So it's like, but they do one Beyonce record and they've made more money than cents. So it's like, I think it's like, you know what, just take the, take the pun and just even if you're just like even if the artist even if you know as an A&R it's not going to do well just let the artist mm-hmm. put it out for fuck's sake <laughs> <laughs> yeah no for real um that's funny that you talk about that my thing is sometimes I feel and I don't know if this is my perception I don't know if this is accurate but I feel like it's pretty accurate um A&R's there's a disconnect because like you're always playing you're seeing the culture all the time yeah. and you know, what's working on the, in your sets, you know what you're watching other people's sets. And sometimes the a aren't doing that sort of field work. Mm. And so when there's a, a disagreement, which has happened, there's a disagreement about a track because one, they don't like it yeah. Two, They don't know how it works. And like that drives me crazy because yeah. I'm like, yo, I have 
I have visual, I have the proof from what I've been seeing and how, how are you validating? Mm -hmm. How are you saying that this doesn't work? Yeah. So that's, that's the part that actually gets, gets my goat. And then that's something that where it becomes something where I have to negotiate or keep bringing something back up because I'm like, yo, this is it. This is it. And this is it. And sometimes you just get so annoying that they're just like, fuck it. All right, let's put it out. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I mean? And, but a lot of artists don't have that though. I will say a lot of, they don't have the, the tenacity. Not the tenacity, but the negotiation skills or the just the belief, actually, yeah. because you look at these labels who are, you know, you're in a partnership together. And I think that's what you have to remember. You're in a partnership, not like it's not like label here. You're here. No, it's it's literally you're yeah. here trying to make the best scenario for both of you, for both of you. Yeah. And and I think a lot of people get overwhelmed with even though they know in their gut, they get overwhelmed with thinking like, Oh, I have to just, I have to fulfill the deal. I have to, uh, uh, you know, it's all this like pressure and, but it's not, it's a partnership. I agree with you. I think maybe this is my ego talking. Um, and I'm happy to, for you to tell me differently, but I actually think the label needs us more than they need, than we need them. Um, Mm. because there's plenty of records that, have been that you've released yourself as or as a feature artist or what or whatever like that have done very successful on an independent record label that doesn't need a major mm-hmm. record label the there is a level of yes a major record label puts a bunch of money into us which could help us blah blah, blah but it's just a bank loan really sure it's just a bank loan. i think i think in your scenario you because you have so many successful records independently as you like i think i think that's i don't think you necessarily need a huge major label you know what i mean but i my deal i do like where i'm at with it um because it it is it's forcing me to focus on me on you if that makes sense yeah yeah no i respect like i'm like but i yeah i honestly this and this isn't me just blowing smoke up your ass i don't think you need a major to have a successful career for you Thank you. I'm going to say thank you. I'm going to say thank you. Yeah. I I, I hear what you're saying though, because I think sometimes the focus is real, like, and and we need to focus on certain things. And sometimes it's Mm -hmm. very easy, like classic for me, it's like classic example. It's like, you are like, okay, I'm going to release 12 records this year. And then you get asked to do five remixes and they're all by people that you really want to remix. And you're like, oh, now I'm only releasing six records and five remixes. And then you're like, fuck. And then mm-hmm. it's like, where's the focus? And it's like, well, if there's something locked in, you can't go, you can't go out. The, these these deals that don't let you go out. So it's like, so okay, true. can't do it. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So that's been, it's been good. I mean that because of that. Yeah. And as far as like, would I, would I prefer to be independent later on? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Like, because I understand, I understand exactly what you said. If you can tour, you know what I mean? If you can, if you're in the culture enough mm. people will support you, there's ways to do it. I think that, you know, could be just as elevating as having a record deal. But for now, this is, this is, it was the right decision. 